morning. Good morning, Hope Community Church. Uh, we're in Galatians chapter 3 this morning, and if you remember, uh, we've, we've been talking about Galatians, and um, what, what's at stake is, is the very gospel, and um, particularly our salvation, and how are we made right with God, and how do we live out a gospel faith. In Galatians chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, the Apostle Paul writes to the Galatian church, he says, You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. This is the only thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish, having begun by the Spirit, are you now being per perfected by the flesh? Did you suffer so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? So then, does he who provides the Spirit and works miracles among you do it by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Even so, Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Therefore, be sure, be sure, listen, therefore be sure that is those who are of faith who are sons of Abraham. The scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying all the nations will be blessed in you. So Paul's going to give uh, three appeals, three arguments as to <clears throat> why they need to be reminded that their salvation is by faith in Jesus Christ and, and not by works of the law, not things that that they have done and his first appeal is Christ's public crucifixion you think of this the world it's a it's a broken world um, on, on all levels all, all relationships and God himself sends his son to bear the weight of our sin and so Paul's Paul's making this appeal saying look if, if you could do this by yourself Jesus Christ would not have been crucified and so he makes an appeal to Christ's uh, public crucifixion. His second um, appeal, he, he asks these rhetorical questions, but, but he's going to go to their experience. He's going to say, okay, so how did you begin this Christian life? What Was it by you did all these things and then God accepted you, and so now you need to continue to do these things? Or did you begin by faith? And he's saying it's by faith. Nobody's justified by works of the law. Now, he will tell you that we do good works, but we don't do those to earn God's favor. We do those because we love God and the Holy Spirit is working in us. Um, it, it's the when, when we come to Christ, it, it is a response of faith to the Holy Spirit beckoning us to God. And as we live out this Christian life, it is, again, by faith, um, listening to the work of the Holy Spirit that's that's in our lives. And then he gives a third appeal, which is, is to look to Abraham, which, if, if you think this through, uh, people were coming in and saying, hey, you, you need to be circumcised, you need to do this. They're probably pointing back to Abraham. And Paul's saying, okay, let's look at Abraham. How was Abraham justified? It wasn't by works of the law. It, it, it was by grace. It, it was through faith. Abraham had faith. And he says, if you have faith, then you are sons of Abraham. Not works of the law, but faith in Christ. And you are justified. So, folks, let's, uh, let's keep faith in Christ. Let's live by grace. Let's live out the gospel. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to work in our lives. Love you and praying for you.